Hi, my name is Joshua Cameron, and I am a recovering leftist. I have changed my affiliation to Republican. Being a leftist affiliated with Democrats is to be in an abusive relationship. This means I allow people to gaslight me and tell me what a bad person I am as they are projecting everything they are saying from their own actions and personality. To evolve means you needed to evolve. What would force you to need to evolve? Necessity. Darwin observed the need to evolve in birds, among other things, based upon habitat, diet, mating habits, etc. Meaning if they didn't evolve, they would likely die out or diminish in nature. I found myself, like a finch, in a place where instead of physical, my emotional state was so bad due to the propaganda that flows through the Democratic Party that I needed to evolve out of necessity. I have gone out of my way to help in ways I couldn't imagine just a handful of years ago. While many were ignited by their hatred of the orange man bad, I found solace and even passion with Bernie Sanders, but only for his policy first, personality second. As Bernie abandoned policy efforts, well, you can guess what I did then. Bernie advocated for a nationally run healthcare system where instead of being taxed so thieves can run off with our money, we're taxed so we can save money on necessities, remember life or death, like healthcare. Let's face it, the economy needs workers like us to run. It is in the economy's best interest for us to be healthy and productive. We, as a culture, are at an evolve or die space. Not just because COVID, but based upon our for-profit healthcare system, even with a 1% mortality rate, if you are unfortunate enough to land in the ICU, you will likely have a bill that is thousands of dollars a day just for room and board. The average American was already at a $400 to $500 emergency away from bankruptcy pre-pandemic. What happens if you live but have a $20,000 hospital bill? What then? How will you continue to provide for your family? We are at an evolve or die place. And as the Nancy Pelosi Democrats continue to say that nationalized health care is still too radical. As a U.S. war veteran, I was taught that we leave no Americans behind enemy lines. So why is it okay now that I'm a civilian that we leave Americans behind enemy lines of poverty and medical bankruptcy when we easily have the power to rescue them? A Fox News poll even showed 72% of respondents wish to have a national, nationally run healthcare system. Why? Because of necessity. We are at an evolve or die place as a culture and society. When people scream over stupid things like pronouns, meanwhile millions are on the verge of eviction and have run out or are about to of foodstuffs and supplies, this is a party for disingenuous hacks. I think we have our, pri our priorities mixed. When white allies are told, like I have been explicitly, that they have no agency in a group like BLM, and if they want to be a part of Black Lives Matter, they are only to be used as stools for people of color to stand on. What would you call that? Not equality. Democrats demand, I think, a certain way, or I'll get canceled by Alyssa Milano. I'm not allowed to think my own thoughts or think my own ideas or views. I'm supposed to give up my agency after I sacrifice in the army to protect others' agency? Yeah, pass. 
Democrats have run on terrible personality traits for too long and to the detriment of this country. It is time the adults in the room hash out the real policy debate and take care of our fellow American patriot patriots that make this beautiful country what it is, the shining city on the hill. The dictionary definition of patriotism is the quality of being patriotic, devotion to and vigorous support for one's country. When I was in the army, rescuing people from behind enemy lines was first determined by your identity in any way beyond simply that you were American. Wasn't first determined. Not white, not black, Hispanic, Asian, Indian, indigenous, African, etc. Labels often serve to separate us from others. It's time we use the label of patriotic American to embody the idea that rescuing fellow Americans and nationalized citizens from behind the enemy lines that rob them of their freedom, wages, and health care is the greatest ideal we can live up to.